Hello, it's me, it's your boy Das Colin, aka Colin Moriarty, aka Colin M, aka Pride of Long Island. Uh, we're going to play Apotheon today on PlayStation 4. I think this game's also available on PC or will be available on PC. I don't know because I didn't do my, any research. Uh, this game has been floating around for a while. I think we actually saw it at E3 last year. Greg really liked it. Uh, I know a little bit about it. I've not played it at all. We are going to jump in and experience it together. You, me, and these Greek naked ladies, and this guy with the axe and this dude doing the dance with the sword and the shield, and this guy who's got the kind of wings on his hat and a little Robin Hood hat on, and kind of the nice hair and the wings on his, on his shoes. Are we ready to go? Yes, let's do it. The gods have abandoned you. Already starting like a God of War game. Already hate it. No, I'm only kidding. Graphics are awesome. Okay, so we're watching an intro that's very God of War like to me. Obviously, the style is, art style is not the same, but art style is very unique in its own way. Looks great. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I've been hearing great things about this game um, from uh, people I know, but I don't know uh, if it's going to be any good or not. We'll, we'll find out. Uh, Nixie Play says, Is this game good so far? I have no idea. I literally just started it. 30 seconds ago. I've not played it at all yet. Um, so we're going to find it together. We're going to learn how to play it together. Alright, so moving with the right stick. Can I, move? I can't move with the D-pad. I don't like that. Alright, jump with X. Alright, we're going, we're moving, we're going, and we're moving. Descend, you can press down and X. I like these kinds of uh, tutorials here. Alright, I got a little sword now. How do I swing it? Oh, I think I just threw it. Okay, never mind. Open. Hold. Okay, combat's alright. No idea why that combat would be mapped to the R2 button. Can I change that? Controls. Ah, damn it. That doesn't make any sense. All right, should be on square. Like that's just that doesn't make any sense to me. All right. Uh, Poke dude ninety seven says this game have a platinum. It does, brother. All right. I got some items here. I wonder what I'll do with those. Maybe we'll figure it out a little bit later. Press the touchpad button to view objectives. Alright. Graphics are really cool. I keep pressing the square button. Oh my god. Oh Jesus. Oh god. I keep pressing the square button to attack, which uh, makes perfect sense to me, but not to this game apparently. Oh! Farmer's fork. Who's this? Excuse me. Is this an enemy? Or is this my friend? Oh, I can... Oh my god, that guy just got his head cut. That seemed a little gratuitous and unnecessary. Gratuitous? Nothing wrong with gratuitous, but that seemed a little unnecessary to me. Can we, can you like Walter? Yeah, you can't do anything like that. The graphics are cool, so what do you guys think of this so far? It's interesting to me. Wood club, hatchet. I'm going, the, I know I'm going the wrong way, but this is what you, this is what you do in games like this. You go the wrong way. Can I hit the, can I? God, I really hit, I keep it, I literally just keep hitting square over and over again trying to attack. Some health, got some coins. Wonder what I'm gonna use my coins for later. So for those of you just tuning in or are unaware, this game is free on PlayStation Plus right now. If you have a PlayStation Plus subscription, um, along with Transistor, so um, two pretty cool indie games. Although it remains to be seen how, just how cool this is. Let's go to the blacksmith. 
<coughs> Excuse me. I'm like just collecting things. I don't. Uh, L2. Okay. Oh, I can block. That's cool. Nice. Oh, and he, he, this guy messed up. Now he's dead. He messed up and now he's dead. Oh god. Oh god, I'm on fire again. Uh, nectar of healing. Alright, I found all these items, so let's see what the hell this stuff does. Inventory. Every warrior's reliable solder. The short sword down. Farms were made for throwing hay. This farm implement makes for a handy militia weapon. Makeshift cudgel fashion from a hefty tree branch. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so that's interesting. And then I have oh, I have my all right. So then I have I have melee weapons and then ranged weapons. I have my nectar of healing, sacrificial oil, a flask of rich and volatile oil. Okay, all out. So I'm just kind of collecting things right now. Can I get under here? Yeah, let's break these boxes and get some health. Can you customize the game's control, Amy Gill says. Uh, as far as I can tell, no. I'll look again, but I don't think you can. Which is unfortunate. Uh, because you have to attack with the R2 button, as you guys can see. It, that's, it's not... I like, I like what I've played in this very brief time that we played together. You know, this five or ten minutes, but... I don't quite understand the controls being mapped like this. I don't really like it. Circle is, like, dodging. Square. Not so sure what that does yet. Am I not on in here yet? The door is sealed. All right. What was it not? It's unfortunate. This door isn't. Upgrade the linen bracers. Upgrade the leather cap. Leather. Uh. All right. How many coins? I have. I have enough to do it all. All right. Cool. New armor. Nice. Look at this guy. He's smithing. Just a blacksmith. No big deal. Gonna destroy that table real quick and then get the hell out of here. <coughs> I'm sorry that I keep coughing. I'm sick. Not feeling well. Alright, so let's look at the map real quick. World map. Where am I now? No idea where I am. Alright, local map. Village of Dion. Okay, I guess I should go back. Oh, so there's like different quests I can do. I can rescue the prisoners, find the apothecary, find the hunter, secure the granary. Cool. Well, I like the style of the game so far. I love games like this. Non-linear, kind of Metroidvania explorative games are really cool. In my opinion. I like how you have like these random allies that are fighting these dudes with you. It's cool. Oop. Got confused there. there go. Knock those dudes the fuck out. Mike Plays Games You Watch says, thank you. Uh, get well soon, Colin. Thank you, uh, Mike Plays Games You Watch. Go back. There is better armor in the blacksmith shop, says Lead Pegasus. Is that true? Should I go back? I'm going to trust you, Lead Pegasus, and see, what, see if you're lying to me or not. Because I do like good armor. Noza Juice says, Colin, I just beat Castlevania Lords of Shadow, really great action game and playing DLC now. I agree, I actually really, really, really enjoyed the original Castlevania Lords of Shadow. That game, I think, um, in my opinion, under understood Castlevania surprisingly well. Um, the problem with it, of course, uh, is not the original, but the sequel, which was just a huge disappointment. Alright, so I have the option of using two different shields. Is this the armor you were talking about? Oh, is that what you were talking about, my friend? Okay, I think we're good. I think that's what you were talking about. Very good eye. Yep. We would have had to backtrack all the way over here. <clears throat> I 
Ramantaz says, not my type of game, going to bail, but I love you, Colin Rock On. Thank you. Thank you for joining me even for a little, uh, just a minute or two. I understand not every game's for everybody. This is really my kind of game, so um, I'm excited to play it. I want to keep going to the left to see what happens. Why is everyone always fighting? Anyone ever have to stop asking themselves that question? Everyone's always fighting with each other. What is the hell is this? It's a boat. Okay. Enter Raider ship. I will do that in a moment. But first... Okay, I'm going to do it now. You, you be the man says, I'm looking forward to playing this, but I'm so addicted to Rogue Legacy. I'm telling you, man, Rogue Legacy is a fantastic game. I'm so glad. Speaking of free games, th you know, this game is free on PlayStation Plus right now, but uh, so too uh, is Rogue Legacy, um, which came out last year, about mid-last year, and it's just a fantastic game. Um, it's a free on Vita, it's free on PS3, and it's free on PS4. I think it's right at home on Vita, personally. Uh, but I do believe the saves go in between the two pretty seamlessly. You should definitely check that game out. In fact, this is a pretty great month for um, uh, for PlayStation Plus games. <clears throat> look at this guy. Look at that move. That that. Look at this guy. I want to show you that again. Let's see if I can get it. Oh, look at that move. He just runs back. Yeah, we don't want to look at it anymore. Now I'm gonna to have to kill him. But I, I was very impressed with his almost Michael Jackson like running backwards. Uh, thing was pretty uh, pretty interesting. Oh, what do you think? I'm gonna you're gonna capture me? No, you're not. You're not gonna capture me. Broke your shield. Uh, and now you're dead. Yeah, now you're dead. All right. Guy thought he was a tough guy. His mistake. <coughs> okay, with the key I got from him, I'm going to slam this open and get some items here. So a, a Sagaris or a Sagaris, a powerful and heavy axe capable of cleaving a man too. Huge damage on that. All right, I'll take it all. Thank you. Seems like there's some uh, people being held here in the hold, so let's see if I can go help them out. Nice. Freed them. They're down. Get out of here, my friends. Skedaddle. Before they come back. Especially you. You're running too slow. Reckless Snake says, Colin, I think the letter you wrote about Kinda Funny is modest to say the least. You're all awesome. Thank you very much. In case you guys missed it, you can go to kindoffunny.com. Go to news. I wrote a letter to the audience. Um, soliciting kind of uh, their advice about what we're doing, also letting them in on, on our successes and failures from the first month. We very much appreciate you guys kind of hanging with us, and we hope you're in, in, enjoying the content so far. We understand we're making some mistakes. There have been some technical errors and, and things of this nature, but we are doing our absolute best, um, and we appreciate your patience. And also, if you're our Patreon supporter, or your patronage. If not, that's okay, too. We do appreciate you guys being here when you can. We appreciate you guys watching our videos. You can follow us on Twitter. You can do whatever you want. We, we appreciate all of that uh, very much. Um, some people have been asking about uh, the uh, survey that I promised in the letter <clears throat> that's going to go out to our Patreon subscribers. Uh, working on that today. Uh, hope to get that out tomorrow for the weekend, and then we will analyze the data early next week and share it with you guys as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Completely missed what the hell that guy was just saying to me. All right. Moving on. Crawling under here. Damn, I just... Oh. That was a pretty nasty hit. I, that guy just took to the neck, to the gullet. I'm surprised he didn't just get taken out right there and then. Tesova05 says, Colin, how hard was it to lose on Tetris? It was pretty hard. You know, I talked a lot of shit, and I got what I deserved from Greg, but I, I, I don't think you've seen the last of our competition in Tetris. I, I think I think it's... it's oh, I can't, I can't attack when I'm ducking. It's weird. Um, I should be able to. Uh, that tale has yet to be written in its entirety. I suspect Greg and I will reconvene uh, in Tetris soon. 
um, and see what happens there. See if I can uh, do a little bit better this time. <clears throat> Wait, what does this say about R3? Look. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. All right. Hooked on Phonics 88 says I'm the champion of Dr. Mario. I believe it. Remember when Dr. Mario came to Wii um, as a downloadable game in Wii in uh, the eShop, and uh, I just absolutely loved that game. I loved playing online with people, even though you like, like didn't keep your stats or anything like that. It was just a really fun game to play. I remember being matched up over and over again with uh, people in Japan because it wasn't so popular here. But I love Dr. Mario. It's a great it's a great puzzler. <clears throat> Excuse me. Where am I supposed to go? What am I missing here? I'm missing something. Let's go up here. Climb. Oh, okay. Cool. The mechanics are pretty uh, pretty awesome. I still don't like the attack not being on square, but I'll allow everything else that's going on. Oh, so you can kind of like, you can't kind of double jump. You can't wall jump, but if you're sure, you can double jump. That's pretty cool. So what do you guys think of this so far? Colin Gregor Awesome, that's a very nice name, says this game looks cool. I agree. Oh, so you, oh, okay. So someone did say before I noticed in the comments that this is like Wolfenstein, the armor is, and that's true, because I've overpowered my armor here, and it's gonna go back down to the minimum 34 for right now, but you can actually go over it. That particular move, if you guys played Wolfenstein the New Order, which was a surprisingly good game, uh, You'll remember that if you beat the game on the hardest difficulty, which is pretty difficult, especially the last boss, that you had to do that. You had to overpower your armor like to significant degrees in order to have any chance against that last boss. It's actually kind of a pain in the ass. Bugged Base says, I don't think it plays as good as it looks. Um, yeah, I guess that's in the eye of the beholder, kind of. Doesn't seem like there's much else to do in here, though. I don't, I, I feel like I've seen everything. Let me go and look at the local map. <coughs> Excuse me. Objective complete. World map. Alright. So I'm going to get out of here go back to the village of Dion. Adam15, Richie says, did you plat Wolfenstein? I did. I did plat Wolfenstein. Uh, Lieutenant Combo says, Rogue Legacy is hard as hell. Shit, I don't know what he said, but... Uh, it is hard. That's the idea. Um, so be patient. Don't don't give up on yourself. Um, the game is really hard at first. The rewarding part of the game is getting further and further and eventually beating it. And once you beat the game, it's not even over. Um, there, you can beat it again. And there's different rules and stuff like that. That's a great... Rogue Legacy is a really fantastic game. And again, I think just right at home on the, on the PS Vita. Michael Roy Media says, Colin, what is your high score in marathon mode on Tetris? No idea, because I can't play it while connected online, because it doesn't work, because I have too many friends on PSN. A problem which uh, Soma Play and Ubisoft have still not patched two months after the game came out. Two months. And I know that people think it's a limited problem, and it is for people that only have like you know a lot of friends on PSN, but trust me, I'm not the only person with like a lot of friends on PSN. Anyone with a lot of friends cannot play the game. It's unplayable. Um, it's completely ridiculous, actually, and frustrating, because I was really excited about that game. And I still look at that on my cross media bar when I turn my PS my PS4 on, and I'm like, man, I can't even. I just want to. Sometimes I just want to sit and play Tetris. The only way to play it for me is to disconnect from the internet, and that's not fun because then I can't share my scores with my friends. That's kind of the the, the point. <coughs> Excuse me. Elliot SD says, does it cost money to patch? It does. It costs money to patch in the sense that they have to put resources into patching the game, of course. But then it has to go through um, QA and all that kind of stuff. So, yes, it, it does cost money to patch a game. But that's not my problem. They release the game that's broken, not me. So we're moving. Everyone's like running around. Everyone's just scared. It's like complete, complete fucking anarchy in this place. All right. I feel like 
we're already here. Well, I'm at the apothecary now. We've been looking for this for a while. Matt Mithril says, Colin, is there any way Patreon supporters or Twitch subscribers can add you on PSN? It, it's, a, it's a whole thing, dude. Like, you know, even with 2,000 friends, like, if I delete someone, I just get a friend request right away, which is great. I, I'm so appreciative of that. Um, it's just, it's, a, it's, it's difficult for me to clear my list and, like, who do I delete? Am I offending someone if I delete them? Like, I... So I just kind of make it random at this point, and trust me, you're really not missing anything if you don't if you're not friends with me on PS. I don't I don't play games with anyone. I don't play you know multiplayer games. So you be, you know you can look at my trophies anytime or whatever. And I do appreciate that so many people want to be my friend on PSN, and that, that that's not lost on me. It's very it's a great honor. Um, but it's just it's not worth the effort on either of our parts. I don't think. If I was like a multiplayer guy, like a Call of Duty player or something, it would be a different story, of course. Lighting effects are pretty cool. Not that I like their next gen or anything, but. So I must be maxed out on that particular item up there because I can't collect it. Yeah, there it is again. Let me see what I can do with that. <coughs> Excuse me. Yep, 10. A small, unassuming herb, restorative properties of which are widely used for medicinal and transformative purposes. All right. Pick up the lockpick. That'll be useful, I'm sure. Milk of moly root. Well then. Man you for champs says, Colin, do you go all digital with your games? Uh, I don't. Uh, I like, I prefer digital games. Um, <clears throat> limitations of PS4's native, uh, native, this particular native uh, hard drive makes it difficult to download lots of games at a time, but I'm not even worried about that either, because you can just download games again later. Um, but, you know, if a game is, uh, if I get a game, you know, at retail, I get it at retail. If I get it digitally, which, you know, is, is most of the games I, I play these days, then, yeah, we get them digitally. I assume I'll, I'll go all digital in the near uh, future. Oh, that guy was already dead, and I just knocked, that was pretty... Unnecessary of me. Man, wasn't I just here? God damn it. What is this? Offhand? Oh, interesting. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Deuster says, Colin, how excited are you for the Order 1886? I gotta be honest, I'm getting increasingly excited about it as we go further. Greg and I did a video, we collaborated with uh, Sony, you guys will see it soon on a video, kind of going over some of the mythology of, uh, of the Order 1886, because I'm really into it because of the alternate history. Um, and uh, that got me even more excited, because the, the, the story is, is really cool. Um, and I think that might be the strongest part of the game. <clears throat> Thank you, friend. So I have recipes, so can I can I craft now? Oh, okay, cool. So Greek fire, this simple but volatile firebomb splashes All right. I'm gonna do that just so I can collect more of those items. <clears throat> Man, my throat hurts. All right, so my, my, I think I'm done here. Let me see. Yeah, objective complete. So how the hell do I get out? I don't remember. Oh, it's up there, I think. Okay. Oop. <clears throat> Howling Arachnid says, the game reminds me of Outland. Did you ever play that? I did. I'm a huge Housemark fan, as you guys know. And, uh, or a lot of you guys know, and uh, that was a Housemark game. One of the only Housemark, if not the only recent Housemark game not published as a Sony uh, PlayStation exclusive. Ubisoft published that game. It's a fantastic game. It was like uh, Ikaruga kind of. It was a lot about polarity. Very cool game. Very, very cool game. I don't think a lot of people did play it, unfortunately. <clears throat> oh, those are my friends. <clears throat> 
Can I drop this torch? There we go. Can I go in here? Door is sealed. Okay. Guess I gotta go down. <coughs> I like the map overlay here, it's quite convenient. <clears throat> you can keep moving. Hooked on Phonics 88 says, Kyle, what are your thoughts on Sony Ben? I've never heard you talk about them. I don't know if you're joking or not. I, I sense you're joking. I think everyone knows how I feel about those guys. <clears throat> uh, Lockpicks uh, says, Svo Skovax 1. Uh, yeah, but it doesn't work on that particular door. I think I have to go here first. Oron's house. Oiron? I don't know. <clears throat> Murder of Birds says, Colin, have you looked into the next Tales game, Tales of Zisteria, since you played Zillia 1 and 2? I played most of the Tales games, almost all of them. I played Tales of Zisteria in September in Japan pretty extensively. Um, very, very cool. It is very different um, in terms of combat. What I really loved about uh, Tales of Zisteria and playing it was... Um, what is this? I have to throw an item so I can... All right, hold on a second. i got to concentrate here. Can I use... Is this... Do I not have a, uh, let's see. Anyway, Tales of Zisteria. Let me finish the thought about Tales of Zisteria. Uh, the combat's seamless when you go in and out of it. It's actually really pretty. Uh, the, the world is huge. Just got a very different vibe from it, because I think with uh, you know Tales of Exilia and Tales of Exilia 2, and even previous Tales games between, let's say, Symphonia and Exilia had a very similar feel to them. My favorite Tales game is still uh, Destiny, though. <clears throat> Nice. What's this axe all about? I want to see what this is all about. Way stronger than what I was using. <clears throat> oh, a little rat. Oh, I just killed that rat. That seemed unnecessary, didn't it? Hunting arrow. <coughs> Zebra Stripe 247 says, uh, Colin, do you think Sony will buy House Mark eventually? I'm surprised they haven't actually, but it seems like they have a pretty fruitful relationship, so what's the point? Crody Slow says, How do you feel about Tales of Hearts R? I played it for about five hours. I'm not crazy about it, to be honest. Um, but I also kind of ran out of time to, in playing it. It's, it's more Tales, which is fine. It's just, it wasn't quite as inspired, I thought, as you know, many of the Tales games, which is to be expected. It's a more limited, portable version of the game, but I know a lot of people do love it. <clears throat> and I'm interested to see if we get Tales of Innocence, because I think Tales of Hearts actually did pretty decently in the West. Tommy at the Zoo says, Russell's Reserve. Thought? So I like Russell's Reserve. It's Wild Turkey. It's good Wild Turkey. Uh, I think you get it like 6 and 10 years. Uh, Russell Reserve's totally fun. Objective complete. Let's get the hell out of here. Bread Truck says, Colin, is this game worth downloading? I, so far, I'm, I'm enjoying it. It's, it's got a few problems, but uh, I like it a lot so far. I mean, I've only been playing for, what, a half an hour, not even. Uh, it's free, so there's really no, you can't really go wrong. Uh... Mr. Clanky says, any thoughts on Rooster Teeth acquiring the guys from Inside Gaming? I didn't know if that was, if that, was that what was announced. Uh, if so, I mean, it's not, I guess not a huge surprise. It's a good acquisition for them. <clears throat> Inside Gaming guys are very friendly. <clears throat> Where am I going? Where the hell am I going? I don't think I'm supposed to go this way. Oh, maybe I, I don't know. Oh, it's like some treasures here. All right. Excuse me. Almost a thousand of you with us right now watching uh, Apotheon on PlayStation 4. We do appreciate you joining us. Or I do. There's no one else with me, I guess. So the axe is a little slow. Man, that guy's got like some sort of scythe. It's getting a little, it's getting a little brutal around here, isn't it? <clears throat> oh. I just got clowned the fuck out, did he not? 
TJ5921 says, Colin, will you ever upgrade to Vita 2000? Probably eventually, but I like my Vita OLED now. Although the battery's kind of suffering a little bit, so. Might have to do it sooner rather than later. <clears throat> that guy you hate says, did you see the new P5 trailer, Colin? Yes, we did. We went over for like 25 minutes this morning, much to the chagrin of some people that were watching. Uh, Malice uh, just subscribed two months in a row. Thank you for joining us. We do appreciate it. We do appreciate your support. Oof, man, I just beat the shit out of that guy. That archer's quite skilled that he's able to kind of keep aiming while he's jumping. It's uh, very impressive. <clears throat> Enter the Temple of Dion. Here we are. I think this is where we need to be. Is there anything else I need to do? I don't think so. Defeat the Tyrant. Murder Bird says, Colin, what was the first Platinum Trophy you ever earned? I, I thought it was Fallout 3, but I'm not sure. You guys can probably find out on um, PSM Profiles. I, it's it's maybe Infamous? I don't know. It can't be Infamous. It would, it would have to be sooner than that, wouldn't it? I don't know. I don't remember. It's been a while. I think I'm at 48 or something like that. Although I, I really kind of slowed down in my old age. Craft. <clears throat> Do I have to craft something? Oh, I need to craft a firebomb, I see. Okay. There we go. Let's see. <coughs> Excuse me. Yo, Savage, does any chance uh, we get some bourbon reviews or maybe like an unboxing? Not sure if YouTube or Twitch allow alcohol-related shows. YouTube certainly does. We already do a, a, an alcohol-related show on YouTube. It's called... Oh, God, I'm on fire again. That's not what it's called. It's called uh, Follow the Leader, and we're thinking about doing another season of it. Actually, you guys can go check that out. We hope you like it. It's with our, our good buddy, uh, Eric Castro. And if you're uh, into cocktails and you're of age, um, it's a uh, it, it might be an interesting show for you to check out. I know that drinking age kind of varies around the world, so you know, follow your your local laws. <clears throat> These guys just killed my buddy, and now they're gonna pay. Is my, did my weapon did my weapon uh, run out of strength or something all the time? Look at this guy, he's looting this poor person's dead body. Now I'm going to have to kill him. <clears throat> Weapons break, says uh, Tiarello. It's good to know, I did not realize that. <clears throat> Oof, got a javelin right to the gut. Oops, I want a different weapon. Do I have... What am I using now? It's pretty strong. This thing's just a little quicker, I feel like. Come here. Ooh! Damn! <coughs> I'm on fire again! Jesus. Billy Bob Mephi says, how's my boy Das Colin doing? Uh, I'm alright. Uh, I'm sick this week. I feel like it's just kind of lingering. It's not like a, a really terrible thing. It's just kind of nagging. Um, but I'm hanging in there. Thank you for asking. Oh god, I'm dying. Oh god, I'm dying. I feel like I need a little health here. How do I... Oh yeah, use this? Right, okay. And then... There we go. Alright, and then... Actually, this is more intuitive than I thought it was. Okay. Get some of the moly root. Look at this guy. I think he's being cute. Get out of here. Whoa, what the hell was that? Damn, he just got me when I was in the air. Collect the arrow. Carrot. 
one eight zero nine nine four six. Colin, thoughts on NASA's potential mission to Europa? I haven't really read anything about that. But it would be awesome. Um, I wish they would kind of. I mean, these unmanned missions are obviously great, but I, I kind of wish that they would focus on getting men to the back to the moon and, and ultimately to Mars. Damn, I went the wrong way. All right. <clears throat> the key's up there. Oops. Let's see. Hatchets. Okay. McCroft F88 says, word, where do you think Fallout 4 will be? Uh, I think all rumors point to Massachusetts, the Commonwealth, as they call it in Fallout War, which would be pretty cool. <clears throat> Mo1can says, Kyle, when is Ramon coming over? Ramon will be here for like a week in uh, March, if all goes according to plan. <coughs> I haven't talked to him in like a week, though, so I don't know if that's still on, on track. Shield. That's pretty cool. I'm just gonna keep stabbing this guy in the head for no reason. Avar 101 says most anticipated games for 2015. And my most anticipated game is definitely Mighty Number no. Nine. Um, but there's there's you know a lot of games that are coming out that you know Uncharted obviously I'm very excited about. <clears throat> a lot of small games. Uh, Cosmic Star Heroin I'm really excited about. Another cool game that I have my eye on is called Shark Fin Soup, which looks pretty neat. What are you doing? You coming in? Oh, great. Greg's going to come join us so I can stop talking for a little while. It should be helpful for me because my <coughs> throat kind of hurts. Who's <laughs> That was, that was terrible. That was terrible, man. All right. Mm -hmm. Hi, it's me, Greg Miller, from the internet. You might know me from Colin and Greg Live. Give me this. You don't deserve it. Get this shit out of here. It's all about you. This whole spot's got to be about you. Why are you stealing my words? And now we should be stealing Why, you, why are you stealing my words? Uh, hi, Lou Turbo. Hi, Deister. Hey, Zyger. Oh, Zyger's here. Zyger! At some point, you have to go to a job and do something, aren't you? Porty's here too, everybody. Don't worry. Porty goes where daddy goes. I like the game. I like it a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's I was really good. So far. Uh, I was just couldn't think. <coughs> no more thinking. Greg says, it says, Greg, uh, MVP says, Greg, let Colin take a sick day. I've tried. I've told him, every time he wakes up, I say, go back to bed. He says, no. He's one of these punk asses. That's what he is. Ophi on the tyrant. Gotcha. Gotcha, bitch. Gotcha, bitch. Alright, let's see what's this chat. Huh? Um, Tossanova says, Inside Gaming teamed up with Rooster Teeth. Your thoughts? It's a perfect fit. I'm very, 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 very happy. Uh, obviously, I got to know Adam incredibly well during the gauntlet. Obviously, same thing to be said for Bernie. It's awesome to see that working together totally given away yesterday with all the tweets i loved the i love the people piecing it together with the okay it's got red walls and the same carpet and the same oh, it was awesome to watch but yeah it's super cool 
Giant Potato says loud typing is loud. He can deal with it. Um, Mo, Mo One Can says, when will we see the kind of Funhouse crossover? Uh, it's already being negotiated. Don't worry about it. Top men are on it. That's me and Adam texting, but it's happening. We'll get there. Uh, Luke, Luke Azade says, would you rather play Persona 5 on Vita? I have to say no. Persona 5 looked great, looked very beautiful in what we saw today in the trailer. I'm, I'm looking forward to getting that on a big screen. Uh, Persona 4, perfect fit, I thought, for Go Vita. Obviously, a souped-up PS2 game. Why not? But this thing, PS3, PS4, that's what I want to see on the big TV call. You agree with that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Mako Soul says, Greg, please tell Colin he needs to press O to roll. Yeah, because I've been having a lot of difficulty in the game without doing it. Fuck you, Mako Soul. <clears throat> Get out of here. It's Mako, probably. It's a Final Fantasy VII right? and that, Okay, so I was, now... now <clears throat> Uh, the Celtics fan there says I'm, I'm a very I'm a loud swallower. You are one of the loudest swallowers. You gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do. Can't be you can't be. Nice. I never understood the loud swallowing simply because I want to know like what people are doing to swallow that loud. I guess I just don't know. You're just like shoving it down your throat. Again, we need to make a video where you teach me how to swallow. Teach me how to swallow. T teach me how to swallow. I'll teach you how to swallow. Thank you very much. Uh, it's not a thing. It's, it's, it's just, it, everyone's everyone's different. You know? Yeah. I'll get I'll get it. One day, I'll learn. Uh, Colin, do you watch the Charlie Rose show? Yeah, sometimes. NFL card wanted to know. Yeah, sometimes, depending on who he has. <coughs> now, someone asked you in here. Master interview. When we were out there, someone mm -hmm. asked you, are you going to buy the Vita 2000 at some point? You said probably. Remember, you got to get it for those triggers you wanted. Yeah, and, and, and my battery's just kind of dying. So. Oh, really? Uh, Avor 101's asking for my most famous impressions. So let me get in character. And the waters are receded. <laughs> The thing about that, Morgan the thing, the thing about that Morgan Freeman impression is it's terrible, and it takes so much effort for you to actually actually say it. No one ever, no one ever got in Picasso's face <clears throat> about how long it took him to paint. All right, yeah, it takes me a second to get into the character of Morgan Freeman from Deep Impact. Reverb Games is now hosting you for thirteen viewers. Hi, Reverb. Thank you very much for that. This is Portel the Wiener Dog. He's being a dick today. He won't sit down. He's just being weird. Um. Ernest O. Gross says, Greg, do you think Colin will win the race for the P uh, the P Persona 4 Gold and Platinum Trophy? Are you entering that race? Uh, no, definitely not. I that that trophy's supposed to take like 100 exactly. plus hours. Exactly, no, we don't have that much time. Michael Hunt just subscribed. Thank you very much, Michael Hunt. <clears throat> uh, JL Yanks 85 says, do you guys think it's time to trade in my Vita for the 3DS, the new 3DS? I think it all depends on what you want to play. There's no blanket answer to that. There's a bunch of DS games you need to play, and you feel like you've played everything on Vita, and you're not looking forward to anything else on Vita. So Switch to go. champion difficulty. Stay on warrior difficulty. Now, wait a minute. Um, Captain, what the hell do you think you're doing, dog? Oh, we're not on the internet. I can't look at the trophies. Get on, you can get on the Wi-Fi. I can click it off so you can get on the Wi-Fi. Get on the Wi-Fi. <coughs> it's all right. Get on the Wi-Fi. <coughs> I'm going to just you look make up everything it. so hard. Um, you think... Wait, 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 wait. It's harder for you to turn on the Wi-Fi than me go into my settings and go to Wi-Fi as opposed to just going to PSN profile. Yeah, because now you're intrigued. Look at how you're. Look at what you're doing. Everybody's looking at a static screen here. They oh, gotta God look, forbid! They Greg. gotta look at Portillo be cute now. Look at him. Oh wow! Dragon Ball's universe's uh, trophies are already out. What do you? What do you want? Do you want the water? I don't know what you want. So weird. Such a weird creature. Hard to believe Bernie passed us up and bought Inside Gaming instead. Unlock all trophies. Access the refugee stash in the forest. Access the Agora armory. Access. Oh yeah. Acquire the. Beat the game on Olympian difficulty. Is one of the trophies. Colin. Send them out. Yeah. Elite Chavez wants to know: Are you going to stream your Persona 4 Golden playthrough? No. Uh, there are some things I have to have to myself, Greg. I understand that. I respect that too. The next RPG I'll probably stream is like Tales of Asteria or something like that. <clears throat> um, so I am going to switch over, I guess. To Actually, I guess I should go back. Even though people love the game, the dog, I'll go back to the game. Thomas Seed says we need a kind of funny trophy show. I agree. I mean, I'd love to do something like that. What? What, what would it be? Just Trophy Wars 2.0? Sure. We just have to rename it. Well, obviously. I mean, <coughs> <laughs> if we need Trophy Wars 2.0, what would that be? What is Olympian difficulty? I don't understand. I don't even seeing that. Do I have to beat the game once? Who the hell knows? Uh, Probably, yeah. Trophy Apotheon. Let's see if anyone even got this yet. Uh, Apotheon Trophy Guide. Faux Jarmer says, please keep Tim from playing more Tiny Toons Adventures. <laughs> hey, Tim! What? 
D don't play Tiny Toons anymore. Okay. All right, he's not going to do it anymore. There you go. You're happy. Greg, tell us why Child of Light is overrated. Because everybody loves it, and it's not that great of a game. That's why it's overrated. I played it for a little bit. Eh. That's what I say to that. Oh, Darth Patel says, Greg, that Ask Riley video is awesome. Thank you very much. I had a lot of fun doing that. It's a cool idea. If you didn't see it, I'm going to put it here in, in, in the, the old chat. Uh, I popped up on a, on a friend's stream. One of our fans' stream. But you're a best friend just by watching and listening, of course. Uh, and it was nice. To, and I asked that Riley, little girl, why uh, there's no good Superman games. She gave me her best answer. So I don't, I don't know if I should do this champion difficulty because do I need to do, do I need to beat the game on champion to unlock? To unlock the other one? Don't know. Does anyone out there know if I need to beat Apotheon on champion to unlock the 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 harder difficulty, Olympian difficulty? Machiraz says un Olympian is unlocked after you beat it once. Yeah, but on okay. any difficulty, sure. I mean, that's that's sure, sure, that's sure, that's sure. important. Checking. In the meantime, people are asking if we're going to play iDarb again. Yes. Mr. Lockdown says no. Sam says no. Okay. So I can just stay on this difficulty setting then, I guess. <coughs> These are the things that trophy hunters have to go through. Joe PlayStation says, Greg, why do you to have a beard? I'm sorry? <laughs> hey, buddy, bud. Hey, buddy, bud. What are you doing? So I can travel from one place to the next. So I'm at the Olympian game. Oh, so I see. So that was like a whole just introductory section, I guess. Sure. And then this is now the actual gonna, map. I you're going to get some shit going on now, man. You're going to fuck some people By up. mandate of Zeus, Ellipsis, father of gods and men, king upon the mountain, the Olympian gates are open to all deities who seek refuge here. Good to know. I don't know what he wants. What's wrong with you? You know what? Don't answer that. Cody, what's going on with you? What do you want? You got foods? You got love? You got the waters? <laughs> Ken Katong Game says, man, Bertilla just looks like Greg. <laughs> Did you switch the footage off? To what? It says put the game back on. Again, they're delayed. It oh, was okay. for a while, just a full screen of us doing it. When you went back to the top of the mountain, I threw you back up there. Oh, I accidentally attacked the Watchman. Oh, he's going to fuck your shit up, man. Zeus going to come for you now. I didn't mean it! I'm sorry! Uh, Depokotan says, Greg, do you trust Colin with Portillo alone? Yes. Colin loves Portillo. He acts tough on and says a bunch of stupid jokes, but it's just like how Colin treats me. He busts balls to show he loves people. There's plenty of... I think, I think the Let's Play I just edited for tomorrow, which is you playing Castlevania with Nick Scarpino. Party's curled up next to you the whole time. Mm -hmm. He's being adorable. They're best friends. I've known Portillo for a long time. Yeah. At this point. So. Longer than you and your girlfriend. Yeah, that's true. No, it isn't. Yeah, it is. <laughs> is it really? That's impossible. Well, I, mean, I mean, when I said I've been dating her, yeah, that's true. It's true. I've known Cheryl since I was a kid, but yeah. Yeah, but you were living with her when you came over, you know, to meet Portillo, I think. Mm, the first time you met Portillo, I was in the high rise, wasn't I? Did you come to the old house? No, I was at the old house many times. Really? Yeah. What do we do? Not necessarily to hang out with you. I was hanging out with uh, Micah, too. And, uh, um, Andre. But he never lived there. Mike and Andre lived... Uh, no, Portillo never lived there. Oh, okay. Then I guess maybe that was the... Oh, Jesus. I think I just attacked a person again. What is this guy doing? This guy thinks he's what cute. What is the dog doing is the real question. He's never just come up and said, What do you need? What do you want? What's wrong? What's wrong? He's, and maybe he just doesn't like... Be, he doesn't like not being top priority anymore. He's just, oh, I, all you care about is your streams. Yeah, I know, because usually he's locked in the bedroom. All you all care day. about is your YouTubes. No, I'm a sad dude. Maybe he should just remember. I'm getting attacked by like everyone. I feel like I did something wrong here. Well, yeah, you shouldn't attack that guy as soon as you came in. Why? He was he's in red. Aren't I supposed to attack them? I don't know, but I think so. Yeah, that's what I was doing. Colin, what's your most desired platinum? Says the Wildcat. I don't know. Uh, I don't really have a desired platinum. I like just getting them as I go. Yeah, I'm gonna die. I gotta heal. Everyone stay away from me. 
Uh, X Liam Liu says, Hey Greg, do you think you guys will come to Toronto Comic Con or Toronto Fan Expo? Oh. I know it isn't easy, but what would have to be done to get you guys <coughs> on the panel? Also, would you guys come for the f just for the fun and the experience? Um, as of now, there's no plans to go to that, any of those Toronto conventions you just named. Mainly because we don't have connects there. We don't. Have c we don't. We've never gone to them. Like it's easy for us to go to PAX, PAX East, Comic Con, all that because we know how exactly that boils down, who to talk to, what to do. For these, if they fly people out to be on panels, to host panels, and do stuff like that, then sure. If not, we're trying to be very. We're playing our budget pretty tight right now as we get going. Obviously, we're one month into being independent. We want to make sure we don't screw everything up. And like we said before, we're going to PAX East as part of a deal we've worked out with the publisher that we're not ready to announce yet. Because I think we're going to announce it when we announce what panel I'm hosting. But stuff like that, like, you know, there's ways to figure out where it's not. We, the, the money we get from Patreon, the money we get from YouTube, the money we get from selling stuff, right now we want to invest back into the business, which is better equipment, being able to hire someone one day, be able to make better content, so on and so forth. And so to spend that to go to an expo, it, it doesn't seem like the right setup just yet. What are you doing? This dog's acting squirrely. I don't like it. Maybe this is the end. That'd be bad. I don't want to be the end. Have you thought about w w the end, Greg? Yeah, I'll, I, I, I'm, I'll start crying if I think about it. T too hard. Really? I, I can you're get, an emotional. I get you're an emotional. Up. I am. I get choked up by nobody's business. All right, just kill me. I think I, I tried to. I didn't attack anyone when I walked in here, and I just tried to walk into some guy's house, and then everyone's starting to attack me. I don't think I'm paying close enough attention. Yeah, that I is. didn't attack anyone. Yowza yeah, says, Colin, don't attack random people and don't break into houses. This is a video game. Everyone goes into each other's houses in video games. It's a video game world. Portillo, what's wrong with you, dude? Sounds weird with them, right? You alright? What do you want? What's wrong with you? What do you want? You want what do you want? You want some food? You want some water? Let's, let's, go, let's go for a walk and you show me what you want. Just around the house. I'll be back. <coughs> Excuse me. Here's what. Oh, hold on. I shouldn't have dropped the mic, I guess, and then said stuff. I shouldn't have crushed the prize pack. Should have done a lot of things. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna walk out, see what this dog wants, see if he wants food, if he needs to go outside or something. No, no, that's making him excited. But then uh, when I come back, we, I need to have you in the chat sounding off. What the, what's the next game we need to play for uh, the book club? Tomorrow we're doing the book club Metroid one at 1 p.m. I need to know what's the next one we need to announce. And then Colin, I'll talk it out for your amusement. Enter fields of Demeter. Is that where I want to go? All right, let me try it. He is acting really weird. Thumbs up. You think so? He's acting goofy. Yeah, I, I mean, I agree. I mean, well, it's all relative. Come on, Porter. What do you want? All right, it's me and you alone again, chat. You want water? I'm afraid to attack anyone or do anything in this game now since there's just random ass rules. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Lansing Loser says, what are your thoughts on Everyone's Gone to the Rapture? I'm very excited about that game. When I saw it at E3 behind closed doors last year, I was just really wildly impressed with it. I'm really excited about it. About it. I hope it comes out this year. <laughs> Tech Geek Gamer says, Colin, this or Transistor? Uh, I don't have any out or real anything to say about Transistor. Uh, I've only played it very briefly. and I mean to go back to it. Greg loves it. A lot of people do love it. <clears throat> Marty over at uh, IGN, our good friend Marty, reviewed it back in the day and really loved it as well. Um, so, um, something to consider there. I mean, if that's... Uh, a game you want to play, it looks very interesting. This is, you know, a little bit more straightforward, I think, than Transistor. I think, you know, both of them are free, so why not download them both? Give them a try and see what you think. And you can always download them, just put them in your list and grab them later if you have other things you want to play. I don't know what else to do here. I'm going to leave. <clears throat> Dinkamonger says, with the order coming out in two weeks, when do you think we'll start hearing reviews and impressions? That remains to be seen. I haven't heard anything about it yet. Um, 
uh, our friend Sid over at the PlayStation Blog did an unboxing of the special edition, which had a copy of the game in it. So the game's presumably printed. And let's remember that the game went gold uh, pretty early. Um, so <coughs> it's probably done. The trophies are live, for instance. Oh, God, I don't want to actually go in there. They're going to attack me. Oh, Jesus. God, help me. I'm not having fun with this anymore. Oh, I just want to hang out with you guys. Why are you attacking me? I can't do anything. All right, just kill me. Let's do some questions. Uh, Zygern1337 says, uh, I think Earthbound might be a good uh, book club game. It's free on Club Nintendo for two or Club Nintendo for 250 coins, too. Well, it's not technically free, then. Uh, but uh, Earthbound is a great game, but uh, not a game we want to... Um, mess around with. Uh, it's too long. I don't have to keep paying these guys tribute to leave me alone. Like, I'm just trying to hang out with you. I'm trying to hang out with dudes. Everyone's busting balls. Can't go in any doors. Can't talk to anyone. What the hell am I supposed to do around here? Am I allowed to climb on this? Is that alright with you, my friend, with the, with the baseball bat? Is that alright? If I kind of go up here? Fucking asshole. Alright. Well, we don't want to go in there. Get yelled at. Can't go in there. XRGXS1 Nestro says, Greetings, bros from the Dominican Republic. Greetings to you. Thank you for joining us. I'm here in a town where I can't talk to anyone, do anything, or uh, touch anything. So we're having a good time so far. Patia. Enter the forest of Artemis. All right. JKM2134 says, Do you guys have plans playing Evolve among each other? Uh, I'm sure we'll do something with Evolve. I don't really care about that game. Um, I think Greg cares about it a little bit. I, I'm sure we'll do something with it when the time comes. But it's not really a game that's that's on my alley. This art, the art style in this game is really great. I like the uh, <coughs> I like the foreground and background stuff too. Like for instance, the tree here is in the background. Obviously, the grass is in the background. But this like wheat blade and this bigger plant here are in the foreground. It's been just nice little touches like that. The lighting is cool. Really pretty game. Sure. Extreme Super King says, Kyle, what's your favorite bourbon? My favorite bourbon uh, is Noah's Mill. It's pretty expensive, but it's very, very tasty. If you're into bourbons. <clears throat> Ruby Juice says, Colin, do you think Uncharted 4 will get released this year or will it be pushed back? Um, Greg's pretty certain it'll get pushed back. I think um, I think it has a pretty good chance of coming out this year, but I, 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 I think they honestly don't know. I mean, I think they're going to try to get it out this year and we'll, they'll see what happens. They're not going to release it again. That's not done. That's for sure. Got my torch out. You all better now, Porty? Oh god, dire wolf. Oh dear. Dire wolf? Oh, Jesus. Oh, killed me. Did I have, like no health? Oh I'm not dead yet. I gotta get I'm I'm getting out of here. Nope, 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 nope. Oh god, he's chasing me. Oh, Jesus. You, p you pissed off the wrong direwolf now. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god! Oh! 
Jesus! All right, I need to uh, re-equip my weapon. Give us here. knob switch for the kind of funny game club. All right, yes, we need to know what to add to the kind of funny book club for the next one. Any suggestions, Colin? Um, I know it seems redundant, but based on the genetics of Super Metroid, I'd love to do Castlevania Symphony of the Night next. Mm, mm, mm. Which is one of the great games of all time, in my opinion. Yeah. Some people feel that way about Super Metroid. I don't. Uh, I think Super Metroid is a great game, but Castlevania is just insanely good. Gotcha. Where did the direwolf go? Oh, there. Where the hell? What the? Patch Ryan's is linked to the past. That's that's not a bad one. Dragon Slayer says Majora Mask. Step Ladder says Dead Space. Howl Paper Mario. Tommy at the Zoo Cave Story. Wind Waker. Ninja Gaiden. Ninja Gaiden, Gaiden like the one on NES, that'd be awesome. I so. The original Metal Gear Solid. Man, I'm getting my ass beat. I'm not sure exactly what to do with this guy. Mario Kart drinking game for the entire month. <laughs> <coughs> Sweet it in two. Super Mario World. Naughty Bear. Mario Sunshine Braid. Yeah. Can you screen the more comment thing? Sure. Cool. Alright. Sure, can you sub in for me? Uh, yeah, sure. Alright. I gotta go watch something Tim did, so now Tim's gonna sub in for me. It's on my computer. I figured as much. I think you had it done. Yeah. Exactly. This wolf's pissing me off. This wolf be pissing me off. Where'd he come on? I know, sorry. Where's this goddamn wolf? First he wants to fight and then he just runs away? Punk ass. Come here. So what's this guy? The dire wolf. He's up some bullshit. This game looks cool. It is pretty cool. Oh, a pelt. Mm. I'll take it. Nectar of Healing, Beast Fangs. Beast Fang. Done. Oh, I'm having fun. I think I oh, beat yeah. the game. <clears throat> Infusion of al Alacrity? The Timinator. I like that. Tim reminds me of the typical douche character in a film. Cool. I'm nailing it then. Not very nice. <clears throat> the Dire Wolf is not to be trifled with. Well, I trifled. Fact. I trifled. You're trifling, man. And, you, and next thing you know, the beast got pelted. Yeah, he ain't no. Oh god. Mm -hmm. Oh Jesus. This reminds me of the 1998 classic Hercules. Yes. Yeah. I'm placing. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes, I'm excited for the Frozen Fever short, The Ghost Six. Are you kidding me? The only thing I'm more excited for is Furious Seven, which if you guys haven't seen the new trailer. Wow. At some point today, but not right now. Go watch it. Squirrels. Those are some big ass squirrels. Imagine if you saw that little fucker in real life. <laughs> It'd be scary. Look at this deer. He's like half the size of the deer. <laughs> oh, he's right. oh, God. That deer's pathfinding is pretty interesting. He knows exactly <laughs> where he's going. It's weird. What do you get if you kill the squirrel? Uh, I'm trying. I think health. I don't know if the squirrel's the best bet for the health. Come here. It's like Oregon Trail. Uh, maybe there's so many animals. I'm too slow. All right, so I'm gonna. I have to go to cleanse the sanctuary, but not yet. I'm we not will play there. Pokemon Stadium for multiplayer Mondays at some point. I seem to figure out how to make that happen, like logistically. But that lick a tongue mini game, oh yeah, tongues shall be licked. Oops. Use your bow, they say. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm underwater. I to turn into a Mario game. No. My torch works. Oh, I thought I was still underwater. Oh, okay, there. That makes mm, a little yeah, more sense. Yeah. Enter Witch's Hollow. All right. Oh, yeah. That sounds sexual.
Lemon Wedge 2 says, just watched all the films except for Too Fast, Too Furious. And you're right, it is about family. Yeah, see? It's not about cars. People are stupid. I just set myself on fire. Speaking of stupid. Yeah, so the people telling me how to beat the boss in Tiny Toons, it was after we played that I, I looked at Nick and I was like, you know, we probably should have just hit the things into the hole and that would have made sense. But, you know, it's hard to talk and play. How much money do I have? Not no more fifth topics when guests come on Gog Show. So we decided that it just makes more sense to do four topics because it keeps the show at a good pace. Because when we go a little too long, like when it goes five topics, the show just it ends up dragging a bit. And uh, four topics just makes more sense. It's a good amount of time. And also it makes sense day-wise for Monday through Thursday getting the topics and then Friday the full episodes. MVP398 says, Tim, every day I press to get you on happy to see you is the pigeon shirt at the dry cleaner. <laughs> I don't know what you mean by that, but I appreciate it. But I'll allow it. <laughs> Fuck no. This shirt was, this uh, cardigan was literally over a chair this morning in my living room. And I was like, alright, I'll wear it. Tim, why do you have so many bitches in the game over Greggy intro? I don't know. It's what I do. No, Colin and Greg aren't going to go back to playing a game for five minutes before the live show. Uh, we did that early on just because we thought Twitch required us to play a game beforehand, but now they have this game talk show thing that we're kind of a big deal on. Yes, my favorite Disney movie is Aladdin. I did get the shirt at Target. Tim, how do you feel about taking Bob Saget's place as Illus Carter <coughs> wear? <laughs> I like that. <clears throat> Panda Musk made the Game Over Gravy intro. He is a god among men, and a man among gods. Kevin does like to lick tongues. Not kick tongues. That's wrong. He doesn't kick tongues. But he's definitely a tongue licker. <laughs> Do I think Greg has it in him to grow a nice beard? Absolutely not. I don't think that's even an option. Tim, why don't you have more bitches in the Game Over Gravy intro? I don't know. Ask Panda Musk. I grew up in San Francisco, right here. It's beautiful and gloomy. The music on the Game Over Radio uh, show is done by Tone Deaf. T-O-N-E-D-E-F-F. -E -F. My favorite musical artist of all time. Did I already? Would we consider a live show with me and Nick? We are considering that. Me and Nick are trying to figure out how it would work and uh, how to best schedule it to coincide with Colin and Greg. And it, it might be fun. How do you feel about this game? They want to know. I like it. Yeah, I think it's it's interesting. I gotta I gotta delve more into it. All right, I'm no, switching. Do you want to stay on? No, I'm switching back with Greg. Uh, How do I feel day. about the new Latina princess? All about that. Uh. He's perfect. That was the dog. Oh, he seems on. Drink more water. He he swaddled now. That's probably all he wanted. You know. Okay. Because he's a weirdo. Yeah. Nope, it was great. That was perfect. Cool. Liked it a lot. Cool. Thanks. How long are you playing for, girl? I don't know. Stop soon. Kind of tired. Kind of funny, kind of tired? Trying to kill this goddamn wolf with an axe. Not really. Oh, I got him. Dead. Dead. Devin 
friends. Yeah. <laughs> Good to hear you didn't croak. Uh, Game Reverse Girlfriend says, Wait, I just realized there's kind of funny videos and kind of funny games. Is that just for video categorization purposes, or is there something else to it? Um, for us, it's categorization, right? Like, you know that kind of funny is going to be Game Over Gregory Show, Follow the Leader, Conversation with Colin, goofy stuff that's not centered on games, where it's kind of funny games is all content about games. When we do, like, the Ghostbuster Reacts video, when we do, like, the Fast and Furious stuff, when we do comic stuff, that'll be on kind of funny. Game stuff will always be over on games. Andy, RVT, says, Greg, what do you think? Apotheon. I played last no uh, two nights ago, I guess. Uh, I didn't get super far. I didn't even get out of, like, you know how Colin ascended at the very beginning of his. It w I was trying to talk to the chat and trying to play the game, and it wasn't working for me that way. So, I jumped uh, back to Criminal Girls, invite only, to see some uh, boobies. Um, <coughs> West Rady once says, hey, Greg, where did the name Kind of Funny come from? Uh, it came from Tim Gettys. It was his suggestion. And we went around and around and around with a million different names before we settled on that. Not settled in a bad way, but before we agreed that was the best. Because in the very beginning, nobody liked it. Jack33T says, Funhouse, Greg. I'm very excited for Adam and the boys. Very proud of them. Very excited for Rooster Teeth, too. What a great pickup for them. Weekly monthly comic recommendations from Greg would be awesome. I'm telling you, once we get some more people and we can create more content, we could do that. Whoa, look at the penis on this dude! Colin, you see his cock? Oh my god. Look at them cocks, Colin. I don't know if we can... I gotta get out of here. Start circumcising! <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's natural for hoofed people to have penises like that. Sure. Oh, Jesus, I'm on fire again. Keep doing that. J. Doog says that is a penis. Uh, gamer, oh, Gamer vs. Girlfriend, are the two Patreons identical? I'm sorry, I didn't understand what you're saying. No, they're two different Patreons. They get you different content. Uh, kind of Funny Games gets you uh, the Kind of Funny Games cast early. It gets you uh, exclusive stuff there, exclusive Hangouts based on that, exclusive episodes of that show. Whereas the Kind of Funny Patreon gets you exclusive episodes of the Game Over Greggy show, <coughs> early access there, all that stuff. Which I need to be uploading right now, actually, so I can crack that open. The videos are uploaded, for once, on YouTube. No more Vimeo, because it's garbage. Um... Now I just need to start doing the band camps and the sound clouds. Um, Scuba Steve 24 says, Great, can we play some Dying Light Co-op? One day, maybe, but probably not. Just so busy, Scuba Steve. It's not that I don't love you. It's, it's me, not you, for sure. 1,000%. Zyger, oh my, quote, oh my god, I'm on fire again. Seriously, Colin, this needs to be his own show. Iron Spider says, what's with the boners? Uh, boners are natural, and back in the day, like people were popping them when they walked around. Mm -hmm. They weren't so uptight. No, they were just like, let it all hang out. <clears throat> Bear jaws. Certainly I can use those for later. Hey, Tim. Do I need uh, to do the know. metadata in iTunes for the SoundCloud one I upload? Do I need to do metadata in iTunes for the MP3 I upload to SoundCloud? No. Okay, it just erases SoundCloud it anyway. SoundCloud makes it. Perfect, great, thanks. Uh, Game of Rush Girlfriend says good, that makes sense, great. Uh, Sickish says, Colin, can we get a history rundown on boners, please? Uh, really, I really don't want to go into that. Okay, well... Thanks for trying. They're as old as, as mammals? <laughs> They're as old as time. I think some one cell organisms are getting the boners. I don't think that's true. Is that mm -hmm. how it works? No. no. I think one cell, one cell creatures were asexual. Hot. They were giving themselves boners and then using their own boners on them. Jesus. Strong Jones says ancient Greece was full of boners. <laughs> And Zyger says, so Greg, back to the book club discussion. <laughs> yeah, what, uh, what do we want to do for the book club next time around? I don't know. I'm you got hoping. a bunch of suggestions. Yeah, but then we have to decide, though. We have to weigh and do it. Are you doing it? Or who's doing it? Uh, I don't know. I'll do it, but it's going to be Symphony of the Night if I do it. Then just do it and it'll be Symphony of the Night. All right, then, then it's done. It's Symphony of the Night. <laughs> <laughs> Decided right here. Uh... Jay Yanks 85 says, how emotional do you guys think it'll be for the final podcast beyond? It's going to be super emotional, for me especially. Colin will probably be a rock. Colin is a rock. Like a rock. 
too if you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying I think I'd, I'd maybe know what you're saying I don't really know for sure can I I can't lock I can't do anything is this a door that I can blossom of Artemis required I don't know what that is I gotta go find it I guess oh wait oh oh, oh I see it I gotta go back uh, I gotta go back back <clears throat> to the shack Low times to leave a little something to be desired. A uh, super pro says, "Have you guys ever kissed each other?" Yeah, many times. There's a video of you kissing me on the lips, but I don't know where from from VidCon last year. But that video is like lost to history. That was like an awesome video. I knew you were gonna lose it. You were getting so mad at me that night when I'm like, "We need to find this video so we can." I'll never forget. It. I was like, "You need to find this video. It's gonna it's gonna be gone. It's gonna be lost." And you're like, yeah, "Okay." Yeah. I'm, oh, Greg, I'm right. Greg Miller. I don't I, it's just the normal thing where you have all the technology in your fucking fat hands to do it yourself, but you ask me to do it, and I'm like, there's nothing I can do. I don't care. I, don't want, I, I just care. want a party. I'm Greg fucking Miller. Don't you understand? <laughs> I just want a party. That's what I said. That's what I said. All right. Don't you fucking get it? I'm Greg Miller. <clears throat> all right, good. I figured it out. All right, I'm going to wrap it up in a few minutes. All right, cool. I'm getting fatigued. You're tired. You need to go to bed. I told you a long time ago to go to bed. Yeah, I think you might be right. <clears throat> You're sick? You're, you clowning around out here? Coughing? Hacking? I'm not hacking. <clears throat> ha hacking it up? I'm doing the time old tradition of, oh, I'm not contagious. <laughs> That's one of my favorite things. Everyone's like, I'm fine. I am fine. I actually don't feel that bad, but my, my, my throat kind of hurts. <clears> throat> Nothing ever got to me. Like a rock. Wow, like a rock. Uh, S. Kovacs one says, I love the Nixon impression or whatever that was. Perfect Greg Miller voice says, Ad Harris 12. Thank you. Uh, oh, I lost it. I hate it when you see... Oh, there it is. Hold on. Ran, Ran 5 on says, Greg, was it the PlayStation 4 that got you into streaming? Yes, because it made it easy. That made it easy to jump in and use Twitch. Before, with my PC that barely could run SimCity, I wasn't about to go get a webcam, to go get this, to go get that, to see my video card, to test this, to do... No. No, thank you. To get an HDMI splitter, to do da 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 Also uh, known as PC gaming. Well, um, but yeah, once we got the PS4 and it was just like... Flip a switch, there you go, you're on. That was great, and that obviously opened the door to what we'd be doing now. Because when you're committed to it, it's easy to get a setup going and running. <coughs> but it's expensive, you don't know what you're doing, I don't feel like taking shots at it, you know what I mean? No, I, I get it. But as Wayne Gretzky says, uh, you miss 100% uh, of the shots you don't take. Yep. He also says, yo, I got a hot daughter. Does he? I don't know. I don't think he's ever said that. That would be weird if he said that. Yeah. Wouldn't it? I, I imagine it'd be very weird for him and the daughter. And for all of us. And for every human being who saw Wayne Gretzky say that. Kind of like when Broadway Joe was trying to make out with Susie. I want to kiss you. That was Mitchell, what do you think of the game? <laughs> <laughs> That's one of our proudest moments in Jets history, though. <laughs> he said what everybody was thinking. God bless you, Joe. <laughs> the only Jet of any consequence. Embarrassing himself on national TV was great. Nothing ever got to party like a rock. Uh, Captain Platypus says, Colin, if I wanted to experience Castlevania lore for the first time, which installments are essential? Lore? Um, I don't know. I mean, the, the, the story only really begins to get mm, intricate with the, the Metroidvania-style Castlevania games, really. Um, but I would play 1, 2, and 3 to get a to get Simon and Trevor's story and then you can go from there. Gotcha. 
Because Alucard's in Castlevania 3, who's then the main character in Symphony of the Night, etc. and so on. So, you can get a little connection there. Mm, mm, mm. Oh! Bogner PR has just subscribed. Thank you. Uh, Paul says, PC gaming is great when you get into it, and not fixating on having the best of everything all the time. Would cost far too much. Uh, Claudio says, Greg, when is the Order 1886 stream? Whenever we get it, and whenever we're allowed to. Uh, Band NXS says, Greg, can I get a British oi? Oi! Oi, it's me, Casey McDonald, bro! Dr. Tell says, you guys coming to Seattle in 2015? Fuck yeah, PAX Prime, bruh. We're all over that. You know us. You know how we do. Bruh. Game of Toledo 23 says, is the order only five hours? Question mark, question mark, question mark. We yep. don't know. No idea. Might be short. I wouldn't be surprised. No. I don't mind that, though. Personally. I do. But you do? <coughs> yeah. I want a game like that to be 15 hours. But it's because you love that, that alternate history. Well, I also like getting, you know, bang for your buck and stuff, too. If sure. that game's 15, if that game's five hours long and there's no multiplayer component and there's no replay value, like, that would be pretty disappointing. So I'm, I'm open-minded that it's, it's longer than that. Uh, Brent says, Greg, do you watch any other Twitch streamers? Of course I do. Um, I like the Alfredo plays. Uh, we watch the Hunter Pence every so often. Uh, PewDiePie. Well, I guess he's on Twitch, but you know what I mean. I just mean when she does stuff. Um, and then Ashlyn. Damn, I just straight up fucked. First of all, those guys were fucking each other up for no reason. Tech Gamer says, copies are supposed to arrive on the 12th for the order. Cool. So there you go. Thank you, Tech Gamer, for keeping us looped in. And when we should be yelling at people that we didn't get copies of games. Did I not get what I need? I thought I got what I need. I can sing why you Like a rock. Nothing ever got to put it. <laughs> Pipello says if Colin goes on tabletop with Will Wheaton, would he win every game? Pretty much, probably. Colin's got the mind for border games. Don't you, call? I think so. I don't know. I like to think so. I don't know. <clears throat> all right, I'm gonna wrap it up. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm feeling a little fatigued. Go to bed. Go to bed, son. Want me to outro you? Sure, if that's what makes you happy. Ladies and gentlemen, you've been watching a very sickly column already. <clears throat> Play a poppy on for your enjoyment. Remember, we stream games here all the time on twitchtv slash games. But the bread is buttered every day at 11 a.m. when we do Colin and Greg live, our nerdy talk show, where we talk to you about the news of the day, then give away prizes and hang out. Tomorrow, we're giving away a Friday prize pack. Uh, if you're a Patreon supporter, I am in the process right now of uploading both the exclusive Game Over Greggy Show and the exclusive uh, Kind of Funny Games cast. They will be up for your amusement very, very soon. Make sure you refresh over there. If you're not a Patreon supporter, supporter go over there. Support. You get these things that way. Uh, there'll be Let's Plays tomorrow. There'll be more videos tomorrow. There'll be a live stream tomorrow. So until next time, it's been our pleasure to serve you. Colin, here's some hurrah.